Hello, Greg Smith, Senior Recruiting Analyst at Inside Nebraska here, and today the Husker got good news as three-star defensive back Mario Buford from DeSoto High School in Texas committed to the team. Here are my quick three thoughts on the news. First things first, man, the family atmosphere is really what reeled in Mario into this class. Uh, he had a great official visit this past weekend to Nebraska and Lincoln, and he had this to say about that visit to us here at Inside Nebraska. Quote, when they came in, the new staff, they made it apparent that no matter if you're a walk-on or if you're the star QB, you're going to be treated the same. You're going to be treated as part of the family and not less or more. They definitely show they really care for their players and really want to see them succeed. Even if it's not in football, they want them to succeed in every aspect of life. So I definitely enjoyed that. Now, one of the things that definitely helps that family atmosphere is the amount of Texas natives that Nebraska has on the staff, the amount of people that have uh, ties to the state of Texas on the staff, and then the number of Texas players that are coming in, whether it was, you know, I think it was five of them on official visits uh, this past weekend along with Buford, or the, the handful of Texans that were in last year's recruiting class and are already in this one as well. That definitely keeps things going to get that family feeling, feeling that familiar feeling uh, for Mario Buford. The second thing is that the coaching staff did a really good job of making Mario feel special on his own. You know, it, it would have been really easy to rest on the fact that his brother Marquise is on the team already and is a starter at safety, uh, bar providing good health uh, as he's working through a knee issue right now. Uh, but they could have rested on his brother being on the team and really just thought, hey, we've got this one in the bag. But Nebraska didn't really do that. They, they laid out a clear plan led by Coach Matt Rule and defensive backs coach Evan Cooper to really lay out for Mario. Mario, what the plan would be for him and Lincoln, why it was spe he was special to them, why he was a priority for this Nebraska staff, and that really won the day for Buford in the end. And the third thing is, is what Nebraska's getting on the field here, I think is a really underrated football player. He's a versatile playmaker, Mario is. Um, I think he can be a true cornerback in Tony White's 3-3-5 defense, or he can be a guy that really moves around and plays um, a lot of different spots on that back end. Another one of those chess pieces, if you will, you'll notice that there's definitely a, a consistent theme with the defensive backs that Nebraska likes in this cycle. They are long, they are athletic, and they are versatile players. Mario Buford checks all those boxes and then some. Uh, you watch him on film. He is definitely not afraid to throw his body around. He told me he was watching some film with the defensive coaches and noticed that they like to blitz those guys from that back end. Uh, and he's definitely excited for that. And he's got that that swag factor, right? That it factor that those defensive backs tend to have uh, when they play back there as well. He's definitely a welcome addition to the 2024 recruiting class and a future black shirt. That's going to do it for us here at Inside Nebraska's YouTube channel. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get these videos directly into your feed. Also, pop over to InsideNebraska.com. We'll have you covered on this recruitment and more as it's a busy June uh, ahead for Nebraska football recruiting.